Hello, traders. Gary Wagner here. Just after 12.30 in Honolulu, 6.30 in New York. It is Tuesday, 17th day of August, 2021, and this is uh, the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. It was all about dollar strength today that took gold from $3 shy of $1,800 to close lower on the day when compared to yesterday's close and lower on the day when compared to today's open. The dollar itself gained about six-tenths of a percent and was totally responsible for the move down that we saw in gold. The question we're going to ask ourselves and try to give you an explanation or answer to today is whether or not we have seen a peak or a top to the recent rally in gold. If it goes higher, where will we find resistance? And if it goes lower, where will we find support? We'll explain all of that after the price board, and the show begins now. Gold Futures bases the most active December contract traded within $3 of that elusive $1,800 per ounce before backing off and closing lower on the day. As of 512 Eastern Standard Time, gold futures are currently fixed at $1,788.10, decline of $1.70. Unquestionably, it was dollar strength that accounted for all of today's decline in gold pricing, with gold dropping 0.09% and the dollar gaining almost six-tenths of a percent, 53 points, and is currently fixed at. This first chart that we are looking at is a daily candlestick chart of gold futures, and we do have a simple Fibonacci retracement that accounts from the conclusion of this fifth wave at $1,678.80, up to today's high, which was 1798. Now, while we could see the market continue to trade higher, under the assumption that this market begins to correct, we would look for this to be a B wave. And typically on a B wave, it will move between 50 and 75% of the move that we saw to the upside on this recent rally, which would mean that our target for where the market would find support if, in fact, it drops from this area on the low end would be $1,708. That would be a 75% correction. A 50% correction would be $1,738. So what we would look to do is for aggressive traders, they could go and short the market, look to cover it around $1,738 to $1,708. For more conservative traders, we would look for the market to drop See if it finds support at 1738. If it continues lower, look to buy or go long at 1708. The fact that today the candlestick that formed is a doji, meaning the open and close are either identical or a tick apart, does not guarantee that what we are looking at is a key reversal from a bullish trend to a bearish trend. It could also indicate that we are simply looking at a market that is consolidating. You can see that happening on this candle right here that occurred three days ago in trading. If, in fact, the market does continue to track higher, where can we expect to find resistance? Obviously, 1800 is a key and important level, but 1805 would be what I would consider to be the most important level. That is the 100-day moving average just below that because we just had a cross between the 50 and 100 day with the 50 crossing below that. So you've got between 18 and 1805. And then lastly, at 1816, you get the 200 day moving average. That is where I would look for resistance to definitely kick in should gold prices recover from this area and move higher. Right now, we will maintain our neutral stance and look to see if the market wants to trade lower. Silver lost 14 cents in trading today, currently fixed at $23.65. However, when compared to dollar strength, you can see that dollar strength is almost identical, but opposite to the decline in silver, with the dollar gaining 0.57% and silver losing 0.59%. 
Unquestionably, in terms of a percentage drawdown, when gold sold off following the jobs report, and especially on Sunday in Asia, in Australia, silver sold off even stronger. However, we didn't see the kind of recovery in silver that we saw in gold. Realize we had strong up days in gold, and in silver we had moderate gains and only one strong up day over the last three trading days. Now, it opened above the 78% retracement area, but closed below it. And so as far as I am concerned, we currently have resistance at 2372 to 2375. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.